Right, it's round about the 15th of November 2018. I think the last time I came out was round about the 22nd or something like that over here. So it's been a couple of weeks, um, about three weeks. I've been out other places, but um, in three weeks you can see the changes really taking effect even more now with the rusty reds, the oranges and the yellows. Uh, mixed with like the ivy coming out with a few berries here and there. And um, the stream's still there as usual. I just thought I'd just do a very, very small introduction to today's walk. Well, I'll just give you a bit of world news as well. Um, Brexit. They had a five hour debate at number 10 yesterday, Mrs May and her cabinet, about the deal. Um, apparently we'll be worse off. We'll be still tied with huge penalties, money-wise. And it could take several years, and we still wouldn't really be totally in free, if you like. Um, apparently, they would still rule. Uh, Europe would still have a lot of powers over us, um, and there's no guarantee we'd get to any other stage. And now today, they're debating in Parliament. There will be votes later, and everyone is saying that it won't it won't pass that no one will vote for it and um, it'll be thrown out because of all it's not coming up with anything that was promised um, I didn't agree with leaving anyway to be quite honest I do think we should have had a few more we should have kept a lot of our own powers though um, but, uh, yeah, so that's happening today. There's, that's all over the news. They read Miss May, Mrs. May's cabinet just sort of helped her get through that stage. Not all of them. Yesterday when they were doing the decisions. This is the roundhouse here, through here, by the way. That's the roundhouse in there over a little bridge with the waterfall so that's the news for the start of today um, there's going to be voting later uh, it's, it's, it might have to go to another referendum it might be that the government will fail and there'll be, have to be an election it's a big thing you see it's harder leaving than getting in like always in most things. Yeah, these are the streams that were used by the the Huguenots, the weavers in the past. These streams. I'm going to turn off now. I just wanted to do a little bit of an introduction. Oh, look at that. You've even got like a some sort of system on the tree there. I don't know what that does. Maybe it's a light. Yeah, it's a light solar panel on the top, look. For the roundhouse. Right, over and out. Right then, I'm now walking up Slaughterhouse Coombe. I only found out it was called that. About a year or so ago. It sounds horrible. It sounds very scary since I've learnt that. Actually, this coom does. Up there in the woods is the man made hide. It's pretty good, but because it's so dense, you can pick them out. You know what I mean? It's, it's like very dense. So there's probably someone up there with a camera. Waiting for the deer, you see. Let's take shots. Right, this is where we've got to do a little bit of fun. We've already had to cross several streams. Um, they're much... What puts you off is the speed of them, I think, at the moment. 
you just really have to plough across them and hope you don't slip that's what you have to do that's it like that and your feet, boot right they got a bit wet but they should be able to withstand a bit of water for 100 quid they should be I wouldn't actually wade in yeah like I said this is called Slaughterhouse Coombe and what's weird quite a few years ago when I came down here I came from the other direction I actually saw a huge stag um, all ripped to bits don't think it had been hunted. This one had been hunted by a wild animal. Uh, see, somewhere in there could be a hide as well. Where it's dense there, men would get in with all their proper clothing on. Because you get ticks up here, don't forget. Yeah, and like I said, slaughterhouse coom. It takes away the beauty of the place. And it is one of the wilder coombs, to be quite honest. This would be more difficult to come up as that uh, gets wetter and wetter this will be much more difficult to negotiate later um, hence I'm doing it now I'd have to come with really good Wellington boots on that support my feet here's another stream we've got to get through um, just a case of being stable really it doesn't matter if you put your foot in there a bit. So it's like if you've got long legs, you can get over there. My Duncan, he'd get over there dead easy. That would be nothing to him. Oh. Yeah, like I said, that name just takes... It makes this place look more sinister, that's what I mean. <laughs> It does, it is quite wild. This coombe is wild. It's um, not used as much by anybody, I think. Um, although it is a nice, peaceful walk. And I, I go up it and come down it, but not as often as Hodder's coombe, which takes you up on this. This will take you up on the top, but it's not, it's a lot more complicated. You've got to find the right cantock to go up. What I'm doing basically is going up this coombe instead of going straight on or bearing to the right I'm going to go round. I took my grandkids up here in 2014, about four years ago. Um, we came up here, it was a nice day. They had their wellies on. And, um, yeah, because what I thought, I wanted to see if I went up around that way, there's more of a possibility of seeing some deer. Right, more, more streams. I'm gonna turn off for a minute.